guys today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of this 22 decks fingerboard deck um I got this as a Christmas present or gift and this is the deck right here um I bought it 36 wide boxy shape with a tadpole mold which is the smaller mold first off the bat look at this packaging this like strip right here across it to hold the deck in place matches this background picture which is very cool um, I just want you guys to know today I'm putting this deck on some um, orange base plate 36 millimeter dynamics with flat face tan wheels and blue teak tuning bushings. Right, so let's get straight into it. So opening the deck up comes in with like this bag with this uh, piece of paper. Um, and the deck sits right in there, which is pretty cool. Um, first off, let me just tell you guys. I think that the piece of paper this thing comes on is a sticker. Let me see if it is. Nope, it's not. Okay, but this packaging is very cool. Um, onto the deck. I got the boxy shape. It is definitely very boxy. Less cool. Um, it has an N. I don't know if you can see it because it's so glossy, but there's an N right there that says for like the nose. Counter sinks are very clean. Has a T and it says 22 beneath it, right before these bottom holes. Kind of hard to tell, especially on camera. Um, but this is the it's called Subaru graphic, I guess. It says two and then two backwards, like two. T I think is what it's supposed to be saying. Um, kind of like a Subaru logo. Um. It's yellow and blue. It's the boxy shape. There's a really nice finish on this deck. Like I, I really can't say I've ever had a deck with like a finish this smooth. This is very nice. It's the shape of the mold for you guys. It's the mellower one. I do like mellower decks. And let me compare it to my other 36 millimeter deck that I have. Um, this is 36 and a half. Yep, it's definitely a 36. Um. Okay, see how long it is. I forget, and it's it's pretty long. It's I'd say it's about 98 if I had to guess, just based off of um what I know from using um some other decks with similar um shapes and lengths. And I'm gonna set this board up, and I'll get back to you guys. I just put the grip on, kind of used some old pieces of grip and put it together like so. And now I'm going to sand it down, cut down this uh, special tape from Teak, and I'll show you guys the final result. So I just got done gripping the deck, and right now I am currently putting the holes for the screws to go into. Um, I used this blue grip from Teak Tuning at the end of the deck on the tail, and I just used some other sheets of grip. Not the best grip job, if I'm going to be honest, but... Nothing terrible, and I do kind of like the way this turned out. And I will cut to when I have all the trucks on the deck. So I just got the trucks on the deck, and I haven't ridden it yet. And look at how sick this thing looks. Just like the tan with like the tan of the outside of the board. Um, this thing just looks sick. Um, I really want to try this thing out. This thing just looks just mint. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the boxy nose is like a little weird. I just kick flipped it. Um, this is a little bit weird. I mean, I kind of like this a lot though. Like, I almost like this shape. Like, if you look at it, the nose is kind of like blocky and it's kind of weird to flick off because it's like so square. Now, I have this deck, which is kind of similar, I guess, which has like a square nose too. But this nose feels a lot different with the flick on it, just because the way you flick and it has the angle. This one is just a straight up, straight up boxy nose, and it's very, very weird at first. Like right now, I'm kind of struggling with kickflips, just because of the shape. I'm not very used to it. Like, it's just, you get so much flick, or just none, 
and I feel like this deck would be very good for dolphin flips just because like the nose and everything on it. So it's it's a pretty good board I say. Um I like the shape. It's pretty fun. This is probably gonna be my main setup for a while. Um I really do like the graphic. I think it's real wear. I'm not sure on that one though. Um, I'll do an update video sometime soon, letting you guys know, uh, what I think about this deck and setup. Um, it should be fairly fun. It's a 36, so it should be right up my alley, because I, if you don't know, I'm the 36mm fingerboarder. I have three sets of the 36 dynamic trucks. I just love 36. It's my favorite. Um... And, yeah, let me guys know what you think about this deck. You guys ever tried a 22 deck or a 2-2 deck or whatever it's called? It's in the UK. Um, I like this deck, though. It's, it's pretty fun. Overall, it's pretty sick. You guys for watching. See you in the next one.